Well, Clarence, thanks for being here. Today. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, it's thank nice, you. Nice, nice to be here with you. Um, I guess just starting off, could you just tell us a little bit about yourself and anything that you feel might be relevant uh, for people to know as it relates to your floating practice? My first float was an experience. Yeah. Because I uh, slept for three days. Wow. Yeah. So. You you just went in, you had your first float, and then you slept for three days. Yes. I woke up, I ate, and I went to sleep for three days. Wow. So were you, what was that about? Did you just need to rest, or how did, how did that come about? I don't know. I think it was that uh, something downloaded into my body that I needed, and mm. uh, um, I needed to rest. Mm. So I slept for three days, and then after the third day, the fourth day I woke up, I was fine. Everything was fine. Wow. And then my second float was uh, amazing. I couldn't feel my body at all, and it just, I was just uh, at zero G. Mm. You know, I was floating. I was actually floating. And it, there was no anxiety, no stress nothing at all mm. it was just total bliss mm. and i really enjoyed it mm. so i'm a 21 year marine okay um i was uh in the gulf war for um three months uh 1992 and um after i retired in 1999 um i was suffering from ptsd and it wasn't until 2014 when I was diagnosed wow. with it. I was in the hospital for about a week. Um, so I was carrying all that stuff around. Mm. And it was not good at all. Mm. I was seeing a psychiatrist and a psychologist for about um, six months. Um, was getting no relief. So uh, I just held on to it mm. and just had to go through it. But um, after that float, <laughs> I mean, a lot of that anxiety and stress and um, just thinking about what happened to me while I was at the war and mm. everything um, subsided mm. a great deal. So I can say that whatever's going on in the float room, mm -hmm. it's more than what we could ever imagine. Mm. Mm -hmm. So what were, your, what were your symptoms like? You said you had PTSD. What, what were you experiencing? Yes, so I was experiencing um, flashbacks. Okay, you have flashbacks, uh, you smell the oil, you know, from the oil fields. Mm. Um, it was surreal, you know, going through the minefields, um, the mines and the booby traps and the grenades and um, the sounds. Uh, you experience everything, you know, dreams, cold sweat, waking up, you know, not knowing where you are, mm. things of that nature. So... I was dealing with a lot. For years. For years, yes. Um, uncontrollable rage. Mm. I was dealing with uncontrollable rage constantly, all the time. Anything could, could set me off. Mm. Um, but the floats have really helped me to control that. Mm. So a lot, of the, a lot of the fog is going away. Mm. Things that um, I experienced before, I don't experience as much. Mm -hmm. So, what what other things were you trying to do to help yourself cope with those symptoms along the way? Well, I'm a singer songwriter. Okay. So I did a lot of singing on my own by myself, mm. um, humming things of that nature. So I. I um, Try to keep myself busy with mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. So 
And I was trying to work, I was working on an album and that it did not uh, pan out at the time. Mm. So I was just dealing with a lot of things, you know, going through a lot of um, transition, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And, you know, being here in uh, Missouri, and of course I'm a native of Missouri, I uh, grew up in Berkeley. So um, and my mom and dad, you know, they were, you know, um, together, you know, they've been together over 50 years. Um, so my transition back to St. Louis has been um, enjoyable. Mm -hmm. I had a chance to see my brother from Germany. Mm -hmm. So there's been a lot of good things, mm -hmm. you know, that's happening along with Flo. Yeah. And tell me a little bit about how did you come to find out about floating or float STL? <laughs> My sister, mm -hmm. <laughs> we were driving uh, down the road. I was taking her to work and she told me uh, about float as we were passing by. And I said, well, what's that? And she said, oh, it's a place you really need to go. And I said, well, have you went? And she says, no. And I said, well, then why do you want me to go if you haven't experienced it? She says, I don't know, but you need to go. Oh, wow. <laughs> so when I dropped her off, I, I uh, went back and... Uh, went in and talked to one of the representatives there and they told me about it. So I made an appointment. Okay. And what were you thinking before that appointment? Did you have any concerns, any hesitations? Mm -mm. Nothing, nothing. See, when you're a Marine, you have to be prepared for everything. <laughs> uh, you don't think about it, you just do it. Okay. Yeah. So you were just going to do it. I was just going to do it no matter what. Okay. just to see what was going on. Okay. And I was exhausted after my first flow. Yeah. It was it was as if I was being beat up mm. for an hour and a half. Mm. And when I came out, I was an old man. <laughs> How do you understand that? How do you make sense of feeling exhausted at the end of your flow? Well, um, they say that you're at zero G. Mm -hmm. And when you come out of that room, it brings you back mm -hmm. to gravity. Mm -hmm. And I think what happened to me was I just was at a place where it just gave me um, this heaviness. Mm -hmm. It took all the heaviness away mm -hmm. while I was in there. And then when I got out, it brought it all back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it brought it back with a vengeance. Wow. <laughs> and you felt it. I felt it. Yeah. I felt the heaviness. I felt everything. I mean, I felt that my body was completely depleted mm. of everything. I left. Whatever I brought into the room, I left in the room. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And then you slept for three days, just eating and sleeping. So That's just it. Almost like recovering. I was re yeah. literally recovering and what happened on the fourth day oh i felt great i felt great i was able to uh walk down the stairs normally i'm you know i'm it takes a while for me to get down the stairs my knees were always cracking my mm. muscles were aching none of that all that has gone away mm. yeah and so now you've completed five floats yes how has your float practice or the experience of your floats evolved over those five floats? Uh, I, I think it's more now of being um, free. Every time I go in, I'm becoming more free mm. in my mind. Mm. I'm able to remember things at one time, I would forget, say, or say, say for instance, um, I was going to the store or I was going to the cleaners and I needed to pick up something, but I needed to take some clothes with me. Well, I would forget the clothes mm. and then go to the cleaners and, and remember that I needed to get those clothes when I got there. Mm. Well, since I've been here, if I forget something, it's not when I get to the store now is when I close the door to the house. Mm. So he said, oh, you need to get this. Oh yeah, that's right. I'll go back and get it. Okay. So it's so much 
is so much um, quicker. Mm. You know, my mind is sharper. Mm. And you mentioned something earlier too about this blossoming creativity coming back. Yes, um, my poems. Uh, I've been able to write poems now. Um, I'm able to uh, think about um, ideas, you know, my ideas, um, especially creativity is coming back. Mm. All, all the things that uh, I thought I had lost is now coming back. Wow. What's, and, what's that like to reconnect with ideas and creativity and things that you felt like you lost? What's that like? It's very um, enlightening. Mm. Uh, it's, it's, there's a lot more freedom now. You know, I'm able to uh, laugh. I, I used to hide my feelings. Mm. I used to. I don't hide my feelings anymore. You know, I tell people what I think now. Mm. I, 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 I tell people what I, um, my opinion. I was never opinionated. I never gave my opinion. But now I'm very open and free to express my opinion mm. about things. Mm. So 2018 has been um, freedom, pretty much, for me. Mm. That's awesome. Yeah, it's it amazing. Is. Yeah. With, with that in mind, you know, completing five floats. Uh huh. I feel like I'm a rookie. I'm still a rookie yeah. right now. So yeah. like, you know, this is five floats over the course of a couple of months? Uh, about two and a half months. Two and a half months. Yes. What happens when you think, do you think about what's going to happen over the next five floats, the next 10 floats, the next 50 floats? You know, what's going to happen if I'm doing this for a year? What are you looking forward to or excited about in your floating practice? Really, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know. Mm -hmm. You just don't know. So I'm just excited. Every time I go into the float, mm -hmm. I don't have any preconceived notions. I, don't, I just let it, I, I just let the float do what it's going to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm in different positions when I'm in there. Mm -hmm. I could be on one side and then on another side and then on another side. I mean, and I move around for, for maybe, I would say about 45 minutes, I'm moving. And then for the rest of the time, I'm still. Mm. I'm not moving at all. So I don't know what the, uh, the water is doing. I don't know what the, uh, the salt base is doing. I have no idea. Mm. I just let it do what it's going to do and I come out. Mm. And then I feel refreshed. And I talk about the float sometimes, and then that's it. Mm. You know, it's it's um, it's just the it's just the enjoyment of knowing something is going to happen. Mm. It's this is you know I, I I call it the anticipation of the ride. Yes. You know when you see when you when you go to an amusement park and you see the see the uh, uh, the roller coaster, mm. and that's the anticipation. Mm. You know, but you're waiting to get on there, but you know, you're just anticipating the ride. So I, I that's, that's pretty much anticipating the float. Mm. Mm. And you mentioned talking about the float. Um, could you talk a little bit about what your float STL experience has been like? Uh, are there any aspects of that experience that have really resonated with you? Yes, everyone. Mm is compassionate, sympathetic, uh, service-oriented, um, from the owner to the uh, associates. Mm. Everyone is so kind. And I mean, I just go there sometimes just to sit around. You know, don't necessarily have to have a float. Just go in and sit down and have some tea. And enjoy, and you know, and just enjoy uh, conversations with people. Mm. Uh, it's been the people have just been amazing, and uh, I mean, it, it's 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 the communication, it's everything about the experience. Mm. You know, it's the experience and the experience after the experience. Mm. You know, so that's that's what I love about it. And my brother experienced the same thing. 
both my sisters. <laughs> so it's uh, contagious. Yeah. It's very contagious. Yeah. And I appreciate, you know, the time that uh, you've, um, you know, had me here to uh, mm. speak about my experience. You know, a big, a big reason why we're sitting down to doing this is we believe uh, floating can benefit a wide range of individuals for a whole, you know, host of different benefits. We really want to help floating become some a resource to veterans, right? That's a big, a big um, purpose for us because we know of the struggle, we know of the challenge, and we know of the opportunity for healing to happen in that community. What would you say to other Marines, other military veterans? Um, that maybe have heard of floating, but haven't yet taken that first step for their first float. Um, mm -hmm. Knowing that culture and those individuals, what, what would your message be to them to help encourage them to try floating as a way for them to find healing? Well, I think that's the word, healing. Mm -hmm. I, I think when they hear that, when these veterans hear that, I think that that is going to be the key to their um, rejuvenation, so to speak, mm. uh, to get them back into society. Mm. So uh, the VA has a lot of um, programs that work with other companies mm. that could be a, um, a catalyst mm. to help these veterans uh, understand what floating is and give them the opportunity to um, experience it. Mm. Now, uh, I did um, brain stimulations, brain stimuli um, at one point, mm -hmm. which I don't think I really got a lot out of it, mm -hmm. but it it um, it just didn't do anything for me. Mm -hmm. But uh, after the float, now that's different. It was totally different because after an hour and a half in that float chamber, it changes something within the body. Mm -hmm. It brings the body back into equilibrium. So yes, the, the soldiers have um, a lot of issues and I think the VA, the Veterans Administration, would be really interested in finding out more about the float mm. and how it can benefit the soldiers mm -hmm. coming back um, from theater. Mm -hmm. And then just generally, if you're just speaking to uh, the wider public, mm -hmm. you know, you've brought in your your brother, you've brought in two sisters. <laughs> two sisters. Um, that's right. Okay, those three. Um, you're talking about it with a, a number of people. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm sure you've encountered some uh, hesitation or concerns or resistance. What would you say to someone who is maybe thinking about doing a float or has heard about doing a float but hasn't yet done a float? What would you say to them? You got to try it. <laughs> you have to try it. I mean, that is the, um, that's the thing that when you know something is going to do, when you know something that is going to benefit the person, you say, look, don't have any thoughts about what it's going to do. That's what happened to my brother. Mm. My brother says, oh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. And then all of a sudden, one day, he just said, hey, are you going to take me to float? I said, yeah, let's go. I, I, th I thought he was going to say a couple of days from now. He said, no, I want to go right now. I said, are you serious? He says, yeah. I said, okay, let's go. And he says, we're going to be able to get an appointment? I said, ah, we're not, probably not going to need an appointment. We're probably going to be able to get in right away. 
And it's, that's exactly what happened. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you can have a pamphlet. You can have a book. You can show them all these things. But until they experience it, it's not going to, it's not going to, um, not going to really make a difference because mm. that's what the float does. Mm. It makes a difference. Mm. It does something and it does something different to every person that goes in. Mm. So it's just not, um, inclusive to, um, everybody. It's individual. Mm. You, know, you never know what you're going to experience when you float. Mm. So uh, let's let, let, let's just get 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 the people in there, yeah. you know, and just just tell them this is, and and, th and that's exactly what happened to me. I said, "What am I going to experience?" Oh, you need to go into the flow because I was talking to Montel, uh -huh. and Montel was telling me, he says, "Hey, I I, I can't tell you, but what I, what I experienced, and that's it." Mm. You know, and so when I went in, it was totally different than his his first experience. Right. So for a person that's doing this for the first time, you're going to experience something totally different than I experienced. Something totally different than what the thirty five thousand floats and the people that had those floats and their experiences. It's just like the book of the record that people write, and I've read most of their experiences and if each one of them are different mm -hmm. totally different so when person goes in it says hey look hey here's a book you can read it but it i mean it, it may it may not apply to you right you know so let's let's just close the book set it off to the side <laughs> get to floating yeah just have the experience <laughs> yeah that's it yeah that's it I, it's 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 so enjoyable. It's so enjoyable, and and you 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 just float. You just lay there. Mm. I mean, it's like laying on the bed, and sometimes it's like laying on feathers. Mm. And then it's it, it's uh it's it's it could go to as um, I experienced yesterday, like it was holding me, mm. like I was being held. Like somebody was just had grabbed me and was just holding me. Mm. So there was comfort, you know, mm. and then there was there was uh, so much bliss. Mm. So you're, you're getting different things, mm. different times during the float, mm -hmm. you know, and then there's meditation. Mm. You know, I, I, I meditate and then sometimes sometimes the float will tell me not to, I mean, it's not like they're talking to me, like the float is talking to me, but it's almost as if it's letting me know, hey, look, just relax. Mm. Don't meditate. So I just say, okay, I'm not going to fight. You know, okay, just, just relax. Mm. <laughs> just enjoy your experience right now. And it's just like my brother, you know, he was in there for two hours, remember? Yeah. And he didn't know. Uh, he didn't come out when the when the music came on. Yeah. <laughs> he still thought it was a part of the float. Yeah. yeah. And he was sleeping. So, and then it didn't take him. It took him the next day. But he was still mobile. I mean, he still had his function. He was still. He still had his functions. And he was able to uh, do all the things that he was doing before. But that wasn't me when the first time I did it. You know, he was, but then when he came upstairs, he said, oh, I feel great. I feel, wow. You know, I'm energized. Mm. <laughs> you know, he says, I got to do this again. I got to do this again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have had more time to talk with him. Yeah. To yeah. See, see what that was like. Yeah. It's just, it, it, it's something that everyone has the opportunity to, um, to experience mm. and it's very inexpensive let me tell you um i didn't even know how much it cost but when i found out i was like wow that's 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 pretty good for an hour and a half okay i'll do it mm. you know and I, I think also when you're thinking about the the struggles that you were engaging in 
and in the ways that it was impacting your life, when you think about expensive or inexpensive in that sense, right? Um, you're, you're investing in, in care and you're Correct. investing in relief right? in a way that you're, you're setting yourself up for future opportunity, right? Correct. Because relative to other expenses um, of treatment or other expenses of mental uh, discomfort, dis-ease, like, you know, imbalance, that's expensive. Right. Right? Yes. So not just the the dollar cost for the experience, but in your case, what that experience has removed from your life and what it's provided you with, right? Mm -hmm. When you experience it, you don't think about the, uh, you know, how much it costs. Mm -hmm. You don't think about the cost. Mm -hmm. What I think about is just the healing part of it. It, you didn't have to take any medication. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to, you know, go to the doctor and get a shot. You didn't have to do all that. Mm -hmm. All you had to do was lay down and let the, let the float do it for you. You know, whatever healing properties it had in there, it's in there. And it's going to do whatever for the body or that person's body needs. And I think it's one of the one of the greatest breakthroughs in uh, in healing for the mind, in healing for the body, in healing for the spirit. Um, that I could, as easy as it is to do, mm. it, it's it goes beyond words. Mm. It just goes beyond words. So, <laughs> what can you say? You know, um, I'm looking forward to a lot more floats because I'm just, I'm, you know, what they call stoked. I'm just yeah. ready. Uh, you know, I'm ready for the next, you know, for the next ride. You know, what it has to offer. Yeah. Because each float is different. Mm -hmm. and what a beautiful place to be, to be stoked and ready for the next experience you know to wake up and be excited about the day and be excited about what's what's coming up and in what you might encounter and what you might create and the experiences you might have you know that's such a, a, a wonderful place to be you know contrasted with how you kind of reported your your previous experience of carrying around a heaviness and a weight and um, experiencing those symptoms, you know, there's also that kind of even more of a macro, just general perspective on my, on life. Mm -hmm. You know, how do I feel about going through day to day life in this consistent struggle with maybe less hope? And then this one where I'm writing poetry and feel good in my body and I'm laughing. Right. You know, these are two different lives. Exactly. I have bilateral knee pain, you know, and I got that from the military. I have um, degenerative disc disease, mm. okay, that I don't have any pain. You know, I used to take medication for, for my back. Mm. I used to take medication for my knees. I used to take medication for my joints. So the float has kind of relieved all that. Mm. You know, I'm able to walk. You know, as a matter of fact, my brother and I this morning, we walked um, three miles, you know, this morning. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, um, and my mother was looking at me and she says, wow, you look great. I mean, you know, you're, you're losing weight. Um, I was at 256 pounds. And it talks about how the float uh, helps you to lose weight. And um, I've lost um, about 30 pounds now. About 30 pounds. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. 
<laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Unreal. Well, yeah. this is just the beginning. Oh, yeah, this is the beginning. This is I'm, just the I'm beginning. I'm looking. Yeah. It's, it's great because when you wake up in the morning and you're rejuvenated and you're ready to walk, and you're excited about walking, mm. and you don't have any pain, and you are, um, you know, you, I listen to music. I listen to jazz. I listen mm. to a lot of jazz music, mm. and you know, it helps me, you know, to focus on, you know, my walking. And I do a lot of uh, 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 dance walking. I don't know mm. if you know anything about that, sure. but um, I do a lot of dance walking, and uh, people are looking at me like, "What is this guy doing?" You yeah. know, so I have my headphones on and. And I just you know do a little bit of dancing and stuff like that, but I get a really good workout. Yeah, and so um, it's it's helping it's helping my floats. Mm. It helps my float. It helps you to. Um, it does help you to sweat because when I'm in there, I'm sweating, mm. I'm sweating all over. Mm. You know, so there's a lot of there, there's just, there's a lot of great things about the float. That you know, sometimes you know I I experience, and sometimes I don't. But it's overall, it's 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 more of a holistic. Mm. It's more holistic. It's the big picture. It's not just confined to just one thing. It's it's the big picture. It's seeing everything at the same time, mm. and not and not. Um, I would say it's not myopic. It's not just oh, there it is. No, it's everything. Mm. It's everything, experiencing everything. And um, when you go to the doctor and you get a checkup, and he says, wow, you know, all of your, all of your blood is, you know, it's, it's in good shape. You know, you, you, you know you're, not, you're, not, um, you're not deficient in anything. Um, so I, you know, I'm, I'm a witness to what this, this is a testimony that I've experienced, mm -hmm. you know, it's my own personal testimony that is something I, um, is inclusive to myself. Mm. So <laughs> this is it, you know, this is it. There's, there, 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 there's a myriad of things out there that I could do, mm -hmm. but this right here has everything else hands down. If you ask me, it says, what would you rather do? Would you rather float or would you rather run three miles? I'm going to make myself an appointment to float. Yeah. I said, I'm going to float. I'm not running three <laughs> miles. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can get the same results if I go and float. Yeah. <laughs> For an hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to take me a while. It's going to take me about two or three hours to do, to do three miles. Right. And it's going to be less stress on my body. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh yeah this is it so oh gosh man i tell you this is it's an, it's an experience and it's continuing to be an experience well thanks for sharing with us oh you're everything. welcome you're welcome Kevin. this has been a lot of fun yeah it has thank yeah. you yeah thank you come on i'll give you a hug all right <laughs>